All sorts of intensity in the first two games. I expect nothing less here in game number three. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Two teams looking start for a win. And we are set to go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Center and field. What a chance, but they can't connect. Providence is moving it up the ice. Pucks it away in his own end. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Oh, did you hear that? That was a car crash out there. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Moves it to Megda. Oh, what a stop by Helper. Just slide to the net. Takes the feet at the back end. Chris Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. And they win the draw on their own end. Tries to get the puck over to Kovanen. Dishes it to Fadoon. Here's an off man rush. Here's a shot. Oh, close save and a beauty. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get. And he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Looks three Stratton's got it, and they're on the attack. From against the wall, it's centered up. Toborowski stick handling in his own zone. The Bruins take it along the wall. Sends it down low. Looks three Stratton's gained possession along the boards. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Kopanen. Looks three Stratton's got the puck against the boards along the wing and he slides it quickly to Toborowski oh he'll feel all of that after this one through center along the wing here's a shot oh how did he keep it out what a blocker stop by Di Pietro moves it to the middle great defensive play to pick off the pass Wilkes-Barre Scranton's looking to break out Broken up in the neutral zone by Regula. Shot! And he keeps that one out. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. The Penguins will play the puck from behind the net. Right up the gut. Here they go. Picked up along the wall by Smith. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. The Bruins take possession off the faceoff. And the puck's booted away. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. And takes the feed. Here's a shot. And there's a club save on the play. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. And he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. 
The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Block a save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. They saw coming up here. They were buzzing moments ago. Yeah, they really were, and it's a tough spot for the goaltender. Everyone else can change, but he can't. He's got to out battle his opponent now. Executed. When you hear the ping, you certainly know that you've beaten the goaltender clean, and this is what happens here, but it doesn't come out, it goes in the net. The Penguins strike first here in the opening frame, a relatively early goal here in this one. Well, you can see that the team is starting to settle in, and it's typically halfway through the period when you can see who's got the legs and who doesn't, but it's been a consistent effort. Now they've got the lead. Hey, often when they get the lead, they finish the game with the lead, so it's a nice way to start the game. Oh, stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in, so focused, when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Sapporo's a star defender on his team's blue line. Pinestroza's a star who can get his squad buzzing offensively. I'm expecting one of these star players to push their team tonight. James, over to you. Can't get a hold of that pass. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Past the halfway mark of this period, Wilkes-Barre Scranton's ahead, 1-0. Avendonado's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Here's a short pass to the score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row back-to-back. -back. Here they come. I love the placement of this shot, James. It's an incredible shot to be able to put the puck stick side. Goaltender has no chance to set position. Tough save to me. The Penguins are firing on all cylinders so far here in period number one, Cheryl. They've been playing with a lot of energy and they've been aggressive and it's their habits. You can tell that they worked on them and they've talked about them pre-game and they have certainly executed in this first period. Mitchell's got it in the offensive zone. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got the puck at the defensive end. And it's a quick pass to Abadonato. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got it across the line. Quick feed to Hinnestroza. Slides it on over to Megna. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Moves the pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Here's a chance! Oh, he comes up with a stop! Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's high activity in the offensive zone has resulted in them leading here midway through the first. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Shot! That is why hockey players are warriors. What a block! Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Absolutely fearless to step in front of that shot. The Bruins take it along the wing. Great timing to come up with the interception. And that's deflected off someone in front. And it clams off the iron. Providence has been getting closer to the net and getting better looks. That one goes off the pipe, but this game is close. They can get another one. They can get right back in it. Well, when you cross-check, it is black and it is white. And I'm telling you right now, that is a call all day long. The official saw it. It is an undisciplined penalty. A chance to capitalize here on the power play. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And now he moves it quickly to remove. Here's the last. Way off target. Well, this shot is really hard, James, but a nice reminder that if it isn't accurate, it doesn't stand a chance. Ah, they really got them hemmed in here in their own zone. 
And they finally clear the zone, easing up all that pressure. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Passes over to Renouf. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. The Bruins carry it along the wall. Makes the move in close. And that goes off a player. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Providence has got possession of the puck. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. Nothing like a strong PK to just elevate the team right from... Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. we got a stoppage. Let's get the call. The Bruins are getting two minutes for tripping. Looks for East Britain's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Great hook by Puffinen. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. Handles it along the blue line. Taken down, and the officials caught it. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. The Penguins are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. things should open up here with a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. Well, four-on-four four is similar to three-on-three. Three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-ones all over. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. And he takes the dish. Makes a save. The Bruins are in transition. Cutting to the front of the net. Way too much congestion blocks that. Rakula's got it against the boards. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got the puck. Providence's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. Evan Donato's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Nice job tying up his opponent. Sent into the offensive zone. Slides the puck to Walsh. Providence is on the attack. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. Coach will be happy with that, James. Didn't make the PK unit move at all. You have to create some motion and make adjustments based on what they're doing. And this power play unit didn't do any of it. Here in the late goings of the period, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. The Bruins win the draw. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Wilkes for East Granton's got the puck against the boards. Oh, what a stop by DiPietro. Answer the call on that play. There's another stop. Well, there's the horn period number one but this one is far from over lots more action to go second period is just around the corner here early in the second period and they continue to lead the penguins win the draw now let's see what they can do with it good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick and now it's over to magda here's a chance Close save. helbert 
Bob's got the puck and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, but he makes a key save right there. Really important that he keeps his head and focus in the game. Lots of time left in this period. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Taken along the wall by Shea. Moves it to Magda. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Rocks him on the play. Good battle along the boards to the puck. Sends the pass over. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes the shot. Dismiss that chance. The Penguins have it now. Here they come up along the wing. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Here's a shot. Glove save. Di Pietro's been under siege all game long. I mean, his defense is doing nothing to protect him, but one save after another. They're lucky that they're still in this game. They've got to get going north and look to put some numbers up on the other side of the board. Moves it quickly over to Toborowski. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Jostles the puck loose. Scooped up along the wall by Kopanen. Gets the puck in deep. Sporrell's got the puck in his own zone. Now he takes it over the line. The Penguins have it now. Takes the feed. A chance in front. Picked off in front. The Bruins take it along the wall. Fadoon's got the puck. Quick feed down low. Quick pass to Edsons. The Bruins have it against the wall. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Smith. Looks for East Granton's got the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Arsenal. Grabbed along the board by Padoon. Ensigns has it in the defensive end. The Penguins played along the way. Looks for East Granton's got a hold of the puck now. Wicked slap shot! Oh, what a stop on the play! Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Gains the zone through center. Puck grabbed by Hall. Fires it! Sensational stop by Helberg! Well, that shot came quick, and it was right up on the Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, well, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Wouldn't it be pretty if this was a set shot? Just aim for the inside of the post and know that it's going to go in? That's not typically the case, but tonight it is. The Penguins have already created a mismatch here tonight when you look at the scoreboard, Cheryl, but they're not taking the foot off the gas. Well, they're not, and every time they have an opportunity to shoot, they're putting it to the net, and a lot of confidence for every player here when they get the puck into that offensive zone, the reason why they've got such a heavy lead. Looks to get the puck over to Poulain. Moves around along the half wall. Here's a chance! Nowhere for that shot to go through. Feeds the puck across to Harrison. The Bruins have it from the corner. Charles slow to the puck, but still maintains possession. He was locked in there. Fires it into the offensive zone. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. Gains the zone on the left wing. And he slides it quickly to Walsh. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. They try and get a little too cute. And that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Sends it in deep. Coughs it up on the play. Handles the pass at center. Puts it on net. Off the club. Quick pass across to Zaboro. Denies him in close. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Sends the pass in front. Intercepted. Now into the offensive zone to the right side. The Penguins gain control of the puck. 
They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. With some open space at center. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Denies it in front. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. The Penguins have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Confidence won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Denied by Di Pietro. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Penguins are in cruise control, leading it 3 0. Providence has won the faceoff deep in their own end. Quick feed to Rakula. He carries the puck up along the wing. Shot! And it's turned aside by Helberg! Takes it to the net! Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Looks for East Granton's got a hold of it against the wall. And he takes the feed. They've got some momentum here. And he shuts the ball on that. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. And that one's gone. Grabs the puck right in front and tries to escape the pressure. The Penguins look to start the transition game. All alone. Way too much congestion blocks that. Providence has got it in their own zone. Sends it in on the attack. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Providence has got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it to McLaughlin. Hall's going to play it to the corner. Moves it quickly over to Callahan. The Penguins, he's got a little jump. He's in all alone, and he makes the save. Slides the puck ahead to Mitchell. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Helberg. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's in cruise control here late in period number two as they lead by a wide margin. The Bruins win that offensive zone faceoff. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Quick pass to Renouf. Puck scooped up by Henestroza. Gaining momentum up along the side. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Di Pietro. Scores! And that's four! Oh, and they are rolling tonight. Well, the whole bench is rolling. Why? Because they're all getting goals and apples at the stats tonight. You can feel the energy as they're all standing up. They've gotten four in a row. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's firepower in full effect tonight as they continue to dominate late in period number two. Uh, and this is the collective and cohesive effort as well. And you know in the intermission, there's going to be a lot of chatter and some relaxation laughs in that dressing room because they have this lead, they have this game. They just want to come out and continue to play the way they started it. Picked up along the boards by Shane. Tucks that over to Abigail Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that goes off, pours off a body. Providence has got it in their own zone. Oh, great play to use the wall handling the pass. Here's a short pass to Renouf. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got the puck along the wall. Second period nearly into its final minute here. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. The Penguins gain possession. They fight for it along the boards. Poulin's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. And there's the whistle stopping the play. I just had a gander at the bench, and the energy and the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. The 
Penguins once again send out their power play unit. When the power play isn't working, James, you have to find a way to read the ice, go low to high, have the quarterback read it, and drive the puck towards the net. Hooked away in the offensive zone by Kuckman. and you know that's carried momentum. They'll have to find a way to start the next period the same way they ended the last one. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's probably thinking right now, let's just skip the intermission and keep playing the way things are going here, Cheryl. 100%, James. Anytime you have a healthy lead, everyone's playing well and contributing. You don't want it to stop. You don't want to go and sit and wait to come back on the ice. And there's the horn bringing it into period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Offensively, plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Handles the pass. Fires it on net. Great club save by Helberg. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got the lead early in this third period. They have been a high-volume shooting squad tonight. The Penguins win the defensive zone faceoff. Gains the zone through the middle. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got the puck against the half wall. Made that stop. Providence has got it against the boards. The Bruins cross the line and gain the zone. Takes the puck behind the net. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Bruins pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Toborowski's got it along the wing. Oh, and he stopped that rocket! And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Competence won the draw here in the defensive zone. The Penguins move it ahead. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. 
Providence has got a hold of the puck. Great use of the stick at center by Joshua. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Keeps possession. Anson's plays it now. Knocked away with the stick by Renouf. Providence has gained possession along the boards. Hall's got it into offensive territory. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save! He gloved that one! The Penguins have looked sharp tonight. Lots of pucks on net and a lot of goals as a result. Providence has won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Got a stop! Oh, denies him on the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. That knocks him off the puck. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Fantastic save! A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender a task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Now a quick pass to Sahorna. Moves the puck. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got it along the wall. And that's blocked. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. The Penguins have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winner to steal the puck. Scores! And maybe an attempt to try to make it respectable, or is this a comeback here, Cheryl? Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. And listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build out that last shift. Providence has got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward. You can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Gains the zone from the right side. Shot! Oh, can't get it to go! Well, has a good scoring chance. It's a quick release shot, but unable to convert. The Penguins in transition at center. Knocked away by Mitchell. From the right side, moves it up ahead. He got all of that hit on the play. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's looking to break out. Working the puck deep inside the road end. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Shot! Big time stop! Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. Wilkes-Barre Scranton showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. The Penguins win it. Puck picked up by Samarukov. send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Oh, cuts up with the stop. Moves it to score. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. The Bruins are showing a little pride here in the third. And really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. 
confidence won the draw here in the open ice. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Oh, what a stop at the club by Pussy! 55 seconds. The Penguins have been peppering shots on goal all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. Providence has taken possession in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Receives the pass. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The Bruins are starting to show a little respectability here amongst themselves as they get one back. Yeah, and it's about mojo. It's how you end the game with good habits because you want to make sure that you don't carry the beginning of the game into your next one. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Providence is on the attack. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Smith's got the puck along the wing. Moves the pass in front. Couldn't complete the pass. Steps inside the line. Moves it quickly over to Megna. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Who had the better night? Carlin is standing by. Hinnestroza's been great at generating offense, and I've been impressed with his game in this one, guys. Evan Donato's won it off the faceoff. Grabbed along the board by Smith. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off the stick. Into the offensive zone. Trying to get 2-2 with it and loses possession. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we? And just go with the goal calls. Quick pass to Samarukov. Moves the puck over to Smith. The Penguins played along the boards. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. McLaughlin's moving it ahead. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Cuts to the paint. The Penguins have it from their own end. Loose puck battle along the boards. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. From the point, they take control of it. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Stratton's manufactured plenty of offense tonight, and they lead here late in this third period. The Penguins win the draw here at their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Good hit to pump about the puck. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. The Penguins have been a lot of fun to watch tonight. Lots of offensive scoring chances, and they have capitalized late here in this third. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Nice zone entry from the right side. Traps the puck away. Pokes it away. Great hand high. has been successful at gaining the offensive zone, but they've missed the net, and they've had a ton of scoring chances, just unable to convert, a reason why they're trailing in the third. Quick snap, blocked in front. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's get the call here. Oh, no, there he goes again, James. It's the second time this period, and it's real tough to get into a rhythm on your bench when you consistently take penalties. Surprised to 
see the 1-3-1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but you can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Oh, he hit him and got all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. That's love by Hilbert. Precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Confidence gliding in for the faceoff as this penalty kill will continue. The Bruins win the faceoff. Blocked aside. Scranton's coaches have to be pleased with what they've seen tonight. No shortage of scoring opportunities and no shortage of goals. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. A complete team effort tonight, and as a result, Cheryl, they've gone up in the series. Yeah, it's got to feel good to go up in the series and have a leg up on your opponent. Now it's about continuing to do exactly what got into this position. Continue with the good habits and continue to press. That'll do it from ringside here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. Playoff hockey is simply the best. And we'll see you at the next postseason game. Cheers.